And three weeks after vandals destroyed Utica's community art center, the sculpture space on August 28, executive director Tom Monton said that thanks to generous support from the community, they are gradually recovering from the disaster. We are um, humbled and honored to have so much support. It's, it's beyond our ex wildest expectations. So that has allowed us to really get in here very fast and to um, really, if you look around, you can see that we have uh, repainted almost every single surface in, in the building, including the floors. Um, and all of this was, all of this was to um, gear up for our charity art auction, which is coming up this Saturday. The Art Center has put in new furniture and repainted floors, but thousands of documents have yet to be repaired. The sculpture space expects it will take a while to deal with those damages. And after the destruction, five children, ages 8 to 11 years old, have been arrested in connection to the vandalism. Our goal is to um, urge um, our community, urge our uh, justice system and the police department to uh, work with these kids in a reformative way. Um, I don't want to see them go to jail. I really don't. I mean, so whatever we can do to have a restorative justice for these young, young kids, I would love to see that. Sculpture Space announced on Facebook that this Saturday they're hosting this year's charity auction launch party as they take the creativity back for the first time after the destruction. So we're going to have a very large crowd. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be the party of the century. People who would like to donate to their recovery efforts can go to the Emergency Vandalism Recovery Fund that's set up on Sculpture Space's official website.